I'm Katherine Hughes, also known as Miss T Cat. Um, I wanted to share my, one of my excerpts from my book I'm writing called Wacky Khaki True Funny Stories of My Life. Um, I got the word khaki from when I was younger. My nieces and nephews were born and they couldn't say Kathy because my name is Katherine, but people called me Kathy in my family. And so the my nieces and nephews always said Khaki instead of Kathy. So I kind of kept that nickname. And because I was so silly and goofy, um, I got also the title Wacky. So Wacky Khaki, that's how I got it. <laughs> and the first story I want to tell about um, from one of my chapters is um, The Miracle About My Purse. Um, one time I was going to the laundry to do my laundry and um, I just got paid and um, I started doing laundry and I got my clothes washed and put them in the dryer and I left my purse over by the door and the laundry room was totally empty and um, I got this gut feeling to grab my purse and um, I instead of grabbing my whole purse I just took my wallet out because there was a lot of money in it because I just got money from my employer and um, so I walked over to the dryer and not listening to God to grab my purse my whole purse and so I'm I'm putting coins in the dryer and all of a sudden this guy runs in grabs my purse and takes off but while he's walking out of the laundry uh, running out of the laundry room I said I claim my purse in the name of Jesus, okay? And I really meant it. I said, I claim my purse in the name of Jesus. And he probably thought I was totally nuts, you know, like a wacko. But I felt like the only way you can get things in the Lord is if you claim them. And don't let the devil steal what you have. Um, I was newly saved, and so I was totally a fanatic. Well, I still am. Um, <laughs> but, um, anyway, so, um, I went ahead and, um, put my money in the dryer cl and dried my clothes and I was thinking, oh my God, what am I going to do now? You know, how am I going to get my purse? But God, I'm, I'm trusting that you'll help me get my purse back. And so I, I realized that in my purse was my keys, my makeup. Oh my gosh, my makeup. <laughs> And, um, and my checkbook and, you know, different things that are valuable. So I had to call my bank and, um, and tell them that, you know, cancel my check. And then while I was doing that, I had to figure out how to hotwire my car to get it home because my keys were in my purse. So I, I had to have that done and, and get that home. And then, um, so anyway, I waited and I just trusted God for my purse and then um, three days later I got this call and it was a woman was walking along the road and she was going to a garage sale lo and behold she looked over to the side of the road and found my purse and it had my makeup and everything still in it except for my check even my keys were still in the purse and she brought the purse back and sound bizarre no because when you claim things in the Lord confidently the Lord will honor your authority in Jesus name nothing is impossible with God and he did honor my ans and answered me and he gave me favor and I think that he was testing me too and even though I didn't grab my purse and did grab my wallet he wanted me to hear him better and to really obey him by doing what he said um, he gave me favor anyway and I claimed my person authority so God made a way for me to get it back praise God and I just wanted to share it's a good testimony and I just wanted to put it in my purse um, I put it in my purse <laughs> I wanted to put it in my book so that um, you know to let you know as a testimony this is one of my 
Um, it's not really a funny story, but it just shows you what God can do for you if you believe it. Um, when Jesus said that if you have faith of a, as the size of a mustard seed, that anything that you can say to the mountain, be thou removed. Well, I did that with my purse. I claimed my purse, and God brought it back. So we can do anything. If he can help me get a purse back, you know, that's minor. I mean, if, if I can believe a little bit for that and get it back, that's a miracle. Because how many times do you see people getting their purse back when it's stolen? Not very many times. You hardly, I don't think you hear about it. And so I thank God for that. And I'll be sharing some more excerpts from my book and the funny ones. But I just wanted to start out with a testimony. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. And um, get ready when you hear my other ones because some of them will make you laugh so hard. Anyway, um, God bless you and thank you for listening. Bye-bye.